As public outrage mounts over the case of Noel Chambers, the 81-year-old man who died in prison, a growing number of stakeholders are calling for long-recommended changes to the penal system to be implemented. The Jamaica Psychiatric Association and human rights group Jamaicans for Justice also want the government to publish updates of the announced audit of the Department of Correctional Services. Giovanni Dennis has this primetime news follow-up. Noel Chambers never had his day in court, but the shocking conditions he lived in up to his death, published in a new Indicom report, may finally force changes in the penal system. Already, the Ministry of National Security has ordered an audit of the Department of Correctional Services. What the public can be assured of is that where there is accountability, it will be had. No, stakeholders are renewing their call for specific changes to long-known shortcomings. Dr. Earl Wright is president of the Jamaica Psychiatric Association. He worked on a report with the Mental Health Task Force examining prisons. He addressed the 146 inmates imprisoned without trial. Many of them haven't had a mental evaluation, so suffering from mental health problems and haven't had evaluations and continued treatment for a number of years. Some of them also who have been deemed unfit to plead. The taking off the medication, getting them better, and so that they can become fit to plead, that is also a problem. Another recommendation, a permanent psychiatrist in the Department of Correctional Services. But that post has been there for over 20 years, as far as I know. And it hasn't been filled because the, 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 the remuneration and the level of the post is inappropriate. The, the Mental Health Task Force made a recommendation that that specific post be upgraded to a grade four, which is the appropriate level, but that hasn't been done. He insists some inmates can be released, but they will need a caregiver. Some of these patients can be, the family can take them, those that haven't committed serious crime and are mentally stable. That needs to be assessed and then they go through the legal process and the support services, the social work services in the community be developed that they can be kept stable. The problem according to the Indicom report is that family members of some of these inmates are unwilling to assume responsibility. But according to Jamaicans for Justice, some of these inmates simply should not be imprisoned. There are multiple alternatives available under the Criminal Justice Administration Act and imprisonment of convicted offenders doesn't need to be one of them. Moreover, prisons don't help rehabilitate those who are mentally ill and we're already overcrowded and under-resourced. And if we do the diversion early, the diversion at the point of arrest, where the mental health team is involved, then many of these people will not end up in the correctional services as happened many times. In 1975, a psychiatric forensic ward for mentally ill inmates was discontinued at the Bellevue Hospital and the inmates moved to the Tower Street Adult Correctional Center. Indicom wants a similar ward to be re-established in prisons and Dr. Wright details the supporting services also needed. There needs to be a psychiatric forensic service within the correctional service and also that there needs to be a mental health team in the correctional service. For Mr. Malcolm, the cases of the 146 inmates must be urgently addressed. Uh, a complete review of the individual cases, not so much of the system of, 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 the, of the individual cases, needs to be done and publicly disclosed. And there should be periodic updates from the government about the progress they have made in actioning, um, either progressing the cases or discontinuing them. Giovanni Dennis, TVJ News.